Uh, welcome to this channel IBMI classes. Uh, in this video session, uh, we'll be discussing that how we can create a multi-member physical file. So we have listened about the uh, members in the physical file. So every physical file at least have one member. Uh, if we at the time of creation of physical file using create pf command. We can provide the member name and if we do not provide the member name then in that case default uh, name would be used that is same as file name for that member or if a file which will get created with no members then we cannot store data in that because this data would be stored in members in the physical file so every physical file have at least one member and if we want to add multiple members in our physical file then we can say that that physical file is a multi-member physical file so what is the need or why we are creating those multi-member physical file actually so in um, we can say that wherever uh, we need data as a timeline you can say suppose we want the data of multiple years or multiple months or multiple days like like this so in that case we can create we can create the multi-member physical file or as per our need we can create a multi-member physical file so we should understand why what is a multi-member physical file how we can create that so let's move to create a physical file so we have this file file1 uh, whose record format is r file1 and it has three this file has three fields id name and address now i'll be compiling this file using option 14 that is create pf command now once i'll create this physical file though the file has created now just check dspfd of file 1 then at the start type uh, at the type we will be using star mbr option this one we will be getting the list of members in that file so this file currently has one member only file this member name is file one sure now if we want to add uh, another member in this file i'll be using add pfm command sure physical file would be file 1 and member will, would be said say member A now once press I press enter I get a error that members for file file 1 more than maximum allowed now if I will take F1 here so it will be giving error like this that maximum number of members allowed is 32767 but the number of members in the file has already reached the number of members specified for the file in the max members parameter value so either you can use chgpf command for file 1 to change the max member parameter which is all uh, default set as 1 so i can set either 2 3 4 depends upon our need or star no max star no max would be like maximum numbers or number of members allowed in a file in IPMI that is 32767 sure now one way is this one at pfm so I will be able to add the member now once I do the SPFD type star mb here i'll be seeing file one having member file one now 
now again we are seeing the second member member a this one so we have two members now if we'll i want to see the data in those members so i'll be doing this ppfm file one star either i can use star first member so it will be showing me the default member that is file one data which is nothing right now or i'll be using directly name file one i'll be seeing the data or i'll be using another member name member a this one now just suppose insert the data insert into file one ID one, name one, address one. One row inserted. Now to DSP PFM. So member E does not have any record because we have not inserted any record. And this one has records ID one, name one. Address one. Now, this was example where I used CHGPF to change the max member parameter work object file one. So I can directly set that parameter as the time of create PF file one. So I'll be setting this as say take f4 here so i can set a stand o max or two or three now say i'll do add pfm file one Member A one say, or I'll do DSPFD directly on file one. So I'll be checking member max members is star no max. Number of members are two. What they are file one first member and MBRA one second member. So by this way also we can check the number of members information for a file that. Whether this is a multi-member file or not. So uh, this is the way that uh, we can create a multi-member physical file. Now we can add any number of members in this file because uh, which is uh, because we have set a star no max as the max member limit at the time of creation of a PF. Now that max member uh, means three to seven six seven members. That is the system limit. I'll do again. Want to add the same member, so it will say member A1 already exists in file one in library. This suppose I'll add this. Yes, yeah, sure. Now work object file one. Delete this, so I can keep the name of file and member. Suppose I have set the max members as one itself. Now I can give member a one. So file one has created. We'll now just see. MPR maximum number of members would be one. And current number of members are also one. And member is member A one. So just do it. So one file. One file do. DSP PFM. Because there were no file one member right now. Sure.
either I can use star first so this is the data or the member name MBR E1 so this is the way we can create a multi-member physical file so this video will be I think very helpful for the beginners so thank you and have a nice time